We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Pressured and brought down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Defense coming and the ball comes out. He picks it up. From their own 14-yard line, third down. his hands so that'll make it fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary he puts it away and it's a great kick TCU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's going to take off. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. From the 38-yard line, Second down. Three down, three down. Watch 32, watch 32. Right down, right around the 40. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And down he goes, around the 37-yard line. Not much, but it gets him the first down. Yeah, it wasn't much, but on fourth down, it's all about coming up with the first down. Good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. From the 37-yard line, second down. You don't want it, you don't want none. Pick up the ball. He steps out around the 32-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. TCU could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Horn Frogs are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. 
Off play action. Now he's on the move. And he's taken down at the 38. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Got it. And brought down immediately. That'll bring up second and three. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Hit me nine. Green nine. Hit and he's tackled around the 42-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 42. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Green nine, green nine. Red seven, red seven. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. That makes it fourth and eight. Booming kick. He takes it at the 12, and he's taken down at the 21. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. TCU is up by three. Throws incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 21. Gets rid of it. He's hit and taken down. That's good for the yards. From their own 33 yard line. First down. Got an opening. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go, D. Choosing Mike. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. Here we go. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and 10 coming up. Yeah, they brought the linebackers here on a blitz, and they vacated some space in the secondary. He had more than enough room to pick up the first down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. TCU in front, 3-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. TCU has a three-point lead. Tackle made at the 33. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 33. Fires it. 
fires a bullet out to the right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. It's the fullback. He's tackled at about the 13. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. TCU holds a field goal lead. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Number 52 on the tackle at the seven yard line. This is the 14th play of this drive. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Pick me up. Here we go. Flag, 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 flag on the egg. Flag on the egg. Flag on the egg. And they'll get him in the backfield. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires it out. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Before it can go anywhere. That'll make it second and four. Ball on the 29. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange street. Brought down at the 27 yard line. Number two with the tackle at the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Four down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Black. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Red. 
Pitches back. The Jayhawks use their second timeout. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the nine yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Can't make the grab. He fights forward to about the seven. This is the eleventh play of this drive. tackles him for a loss. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ten yards to the end zone. Gets it out to him again, and he's tackled right away. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. <laughs> They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 13-play, 73-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Kansas, to kick this one off. Excellent kick. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings a short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets it. He's in space. And he hits him hard at the 45. The Horned Frogs taking their first time out of the half. Quick pass. And down he goes. Right around the 10 yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Gives it up the gut. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. And he's hit immediately. TCU's out of timeout. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Very close game now as we start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. It's a bad sign. They get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. From their own 30 yard line, second down. TCU with a two point advantage. Slings it, and he's taken down around the 32 yard line. Let's go! 59 feeling right. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he has it on the corner. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Play action. He'll scramble. And they make the stop right around the 36 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first.
Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the five yard line. From the five yard line, it's second down. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of six on the way. That brings up fourth and goal. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kansas is trying to take the lead here. The kick is up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 39. First down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Ready! Green 95! Makes it to the 47. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Nice run to the outside. Good for a game of six yards. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the fight. Ready. 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 Easy, easy, easy. Sting right. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Number one brings him down at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Ready! Oh, shit. 95! 95! Oh, oh, reset, reset, reset. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. They fall on it. Come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Kansas up a point. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 15 yard line. From their own 15 yard line, it's second down. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange. Here's the tight end, has a first down. He's still going, and they push him out at the 31-yard line. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. Jayhawks lead it by one. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Red, 
Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 47. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. I think it was a great play call. I mean, very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he is drilled at the 43. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Kansas with a one-point lead. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position in this football game. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Scrambling around. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. And he tackles him hard at the 12. Excellent punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than three minutes in the game. Caught with room to work. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. Seven-yard line from the 37-yard line. First down. And down he goes at the 
29. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Here we go, here we go. Three, nine. Get it on the counter, and they shut it down. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Gets to about the 17-yard line. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, three of three on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. Just a minute remains in this football game. Under a minute left in the game. Three, nine, green, nine. Yellow, three. On the ground, up the middle. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. This is the eighth play of this drive. This one's in the books. The Jayhawks take this game. 10-9. 10. TCU. 9. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.